What's up? Back again. What are we doing? It's Wednesday. It's dynamite. Same. It's every week, or is it? Hopefully. Maybe. Forever. Forever. Yeah, that's right. Forever. Anyways, what do we got to say for ourselves? Anything? I don't, you know, I got this cool shirt. Yeah, of the Ollie crate that I got her. Yeah. Yes, I did. So, this is what I'm super stoked on right now. That's exclusive. We exclusive. looked it up. Exclusive. So, you should buy that. If you're thinking about it, you're like, you know what? Should I get the Ollie crate? You should. I should get it. Or give it as a gift, which is what he did for me. That's right. Yeah. So. What else? Oh, subscribe to our page. That's it. Do we have 2,000 followers yet? I don't know. Or did we lose them all? Okay. They all quit. Uh, sad. We'll see. Let's see how many. One, nine, eight, six. Come on! All these people watch our video, you need to follow our page. Please subscribe. Yeah, so we can hit that big number. Yeah, don't forget to get all your Fight Back CBD products at fightbackcbd.com. Thanks to the greatest sponsor of all time, mm -hmm. Fight Back CBD. Yep, and what else do we gotta say for us? Well, that's about it. Yeah, that's about it. Let's yeah, get into let's this Let's get card. into the show. Right. We always tell the match card. Derek, our buddy, sends us the match card. He, he went will. to Singapore. He's gonna be happy tonight, because- Because who do we have? Claudio. Claudio. That's his number one wrestler. Yeah, versus and Will, will Ospreay. Ospreay. That is amazing. I can't believe that is a regular dynamite. Should be on a pay-per-view, yeah. don't you think? For sure. Who else we got? Adam Copeland and Willow, okay. mixed tag match. I can't read oh, this. Oh, yes. That's Julie Hart, Brody King. Remember that's gonna week? be sick. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for that. And then we have the elite. The elite. Supposed, the supposed elite. One of them's definitely elite. Okada. Yes. And the Young Bucks versus Pat. Pat. Daniel Garcia and Penta. They should win that match. They should win. But they won't. You think, you think they're going to lose? No, because the elite won't lose. They yeah. can't lose. It pisses me off. But anyway. Speaking of can't lose, we're going to hear from Samoa Joe. And we'll hear from Mercedes. Mercedes. Yeah. And we'll hear from who else? Swerve. What do you think they got to say? I don't know, but I hope he says something good. Okay, we'll hear from John Moxley. John Moxley coming back. With, with the IWGP New Japan Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. That's, That's kind of weird, crazy. don't you think? It's kind of crazy. Awesome. Yeah, he won it on that thing they did in Chicago. I'm super happy for him. He deserves yeah. that. And then we've got Deanna Perrazzo versus Mariah May. Mm -hmm. Deanna, I'm really hoping she does good this time. Not to say that she isn't good, yeah. but I just feel like she it's going to be really lost. hard to go against Mariah. Yeah, You think they're going to go hard? Uh, I don't know. Gonna, I don't think so. I think they're going to have short, to man. slow it down mm -hmm. for Perrazzo. I think, think so? Slow. Mm -hmm. I, I'm slow, but I'm just saying, maybe power. I'm just talking out of my... But power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, it's, it's hard to carry a wagon. Well. You know? Anyways, lastly, Taz brokers a meeting with Chris Jericho and Hook. What the hell is going on? Uh, we must have missed something on I'm one sure of the other shows. I'm sure we did. Why does he need to broker a meeting? Like, doesn't Jericho just say, hey, I want to talk to Hook, and then he comes out? That's and what happens every time. I just want to know, is Taz going to be talking? Yeah, I think he's going to do Renee's job. Uh, he's going to be like an interviewer. I This is I'm actually really excited about. That it should be pretty funny. Taz. Yeah. I love Taz. What if he whoops Jericho's ass? Taz? Segment. Yeah. <laughs> He Germans him. Yeah, he puts him through a table. Oh, anyway, no, we're gonna get into it. I'm ready to do this. Let's go. All right. Ooh, we hate that show. Oh, shut up. This channel, well, I was talking to her earlier. You probably won't hear this because I'll it. This channel only shows the Sheldon show, which sucks, in AEW, which rules. It makes no sense. Every time I look on this channel. Okay. It's Wednesday! Yes. Indianapolis. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, my buddy, who you know, he's there working tonight. Oh, really? Yeah. I told him to give us a secret shout out on the camera if he gets yeah. a chance. He's back on the crew. Oh, nice. Yeah, I don't know why, but. Good for him. Yeah. Oh, shit. Here he comes. Champ. You saw that picture of him and, um, and Renee that I think? Yes. She was all happy for him. She loves that man. I don't blame her. Look at him. Yeah, he's Pitty pretty cool. masculinity and sexiness. But he's very sensitive as well. Of course. He's sensitive to injuries and he bleeds everywhere. Right. He's not afraid. Do you think he's going to go to Japan? Or go to New Japan? Like he has the belt. How can he not? Does that make no sense? He's got to go. Well, that's true. Okada's gonna beat him tonight and kick it back. No way. Then he's like, see, I'm going back to New Japan. It'll be very interesting 
to hear what John Moxley has to say tonight on oh. Dynamite. What were they As saying? We close in. This is to have the final Dynamite. Before what is the Dynasty audio sound like? I, I don't know. This Sunday in St. Louis. Yeah, St. Louis is going to be rocking for sure. That's as loud as it goes. Well, they're in Indianapolis, so, you down, know. Right now, this Indianapolis here, Indy's they're probably running this whole coach. arena off a generator. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no running water in this facility either. Okada, Jay White, Will Ospreay. I kind of like the Indianapolis. It's all right. John it's pretty cool. The IWGP oh World dang, that belt looks sick too. It is sick. When they did the New Japan, it might have been an old design, I don't know if it was that one. I think it was. When they came to Dallas and I went to that show in Dallas, they had they had it for sale. It was two thousand five hundred dollars. Yeah. And so I I was gonna buy it. I was like, oh, I just can't do it. So I went up to my private sky box, of course. And then I thought I want that stuff. Right, so I went back down there and it was sold. No. They only had one. They only brought one wow. to America. Well, to each show. They did one in California and one here and one in New York or something. Yeah. He has an earring now. He always had that earring. Not always. I said uh, two. Oh, he had two? I thought he only had one. I didn't think he had two. Dynasty live on pay per view. See what he has to say for himself. He does rule. Yeah. One of the first championships I ever won, you know. Salvation Army Community Center in Fountain Square, right here in Indianapolis. Really? Funny. That was a long time ago. Oh, man. Now, even back then, 20 years ago, I was swimming upstream. I never really had the wind at my back. I've never had help. In fact, a lot of people try to tell me what I can and can't do, what I can and can't accomplish. Well, my message for them is the same now as it was 20 years ago. Kiss my ass and watch me. Nice. <laughs> oh my God, this guy in this back. These people are gonna be insane. Watch yeah. me. Watch me as I climb mountain after mountain after mountain. Because being great, being great is not about what other people say. It's about what's in here. Now, if you didn't know, this is the IWGP Championship. It looks heavy, dude. See, he is so good. Oh, yeah. This championship is steeped in history. It is illustrious to the extreme, and I have been chasing it for five years. Five years of pain and heartache, of wins and losses, pints of sweat and blood, thousands and thousands of miles back and forth across the ocean. I've been chasing it. Five years ago, a lot of people said me holding this championship, especially holding this championship on li live on Dynamite was impossible. It wasn't impossible. Not if they knew what was in here. Not if they knew what was inside me. Because that is what this is all about. When your back is against the wall, how deep can you dig? When you feel like you've got nothing left, when you're choking on your own blood, how deep are you willing to dig? How far are you willing to go? Are you willing to dare to be great, to prove the doubters wrong, to show the world? That's what AEW is about. Dang. That's right. Faster classic. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> They've been coming out every week hyping AEW at yeah. the beginning of the show. I kind of like it. What me do you think? too. Yeah, yeah. Hyping this, hyping it up, getting Which me all hyped up to the show. Point, this is Don Callis' family. <laughs> <laughs> 
shouldn't have brought that name up. Some very, very talented individuals have got themselves in league with this, this Don Callis. Don Callis is a creep. <laughs> I have no time for this Don oh Callis, and he is feeding them lies. And he said his name them. enough times, he's about to and come out. And what's worse, over the weekend, these guys, they put a hit out and tried to injure my friend, my teammate, Brian Danielson. Mm-hmm. Now, if you're gonna put a target on Brian's back, you might as well put a target on mine. You guys wanna get violent? You wanna be tough guys? Well, you're welcome to come find me. I'll be here all night. But I suspect maybe I'm not your type. Now, what I could do is run up on y'all with a tire iron and blast you in the back of the head. What I could do is run you over with a car in the parking lot here tonight. Oh, my God. But I get the sense that you won't learn nothing. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick the biggest, baddest, meanest one of all y'all. Which one is it? Powerhouse Will Ooh, nice. And I'm gonna challenge Will Hobbs to a match one week from tonight in the main event of Dynamite in Jacksonville. Why and Will will lose? accept. Because I wanted to see it right now. Oh. And in that match, Will will find out just how out of his depth he is when he steps into the ring with the IWGP oh. World Champion. Because I'm not going to make it quick, and I'm not going to make it easy. I am going to drag Will Hobbs to the deepest waters that there are, and he will look around, and he will see no shoreline, and when he asks the referee to come rescue him, or he sinks to the bottom of the ocean, he will know. He will know the difference between me and him, and he will know that Don Callis is feeding him lies. He will know that him, just like everybody else in this business, none of you, nobody can touch me. There are a lot of great wrestlers in the world, but there is only one, and there is ever going to be one, John Moxley. Period. Dang. That declarative statement by John Moxley calling out. Wow. What do you think? He liked that promo? Hell yeah. It's pretty good, right? That lady liked it. She's like, I love you. I love you, Mox. Wow. That's a big match for, for Will. And I didn't think about this, like, Will Ospreay boxing. It never even came into my mind when Will Ospreay came here. Yeah. But now, he might, you know, he might want to go after that, though. Oh, man, that's, that would be awesome. Oh. Last week, Dang. somebody attacked me in the dark because they were too afraid to face me in the light. But as the CEO, I always get right back up. And as the CEO, I can't wait to pay back that bitch who yeah. attacked me last week. Julia. Someone online Lights said it, off, they huh? thought it was Athena. Lights off. That sounds a little too familiar, Julia Hart. Mm -hmm. You know, Julia, I didn't picture you to be such a coward. Or maybe it's someone who wants me to think it was you. Maybe it's someone who doesn't want to face me at double or nothing when I'm all healthy. <laughs> Either way, I am putting the entire women's division on notice. And Willow and Julia, I look forward to watching your little mixed tag team match tonight. Because remember, ladies, there's a price to pay when you mess with Mercedes Money. She looks so cool. Uh, yeah. Well, Mercedes, she's got that shot. Some people were like online on, on, on a forum today, and they were like, oh, they wanted her to have a match and stuff. I'm like, I get it, but, you know, she's doing her thing. She's building it up. Yeah. And plus, it's kind of like, there's some wrestlers who only have to do Yeah, yeah. You know, they only MJF didn't wrestle all the time. Only towards the end did he say Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, 
They want to be like special or whatever. Maybe she's still injured, is what I said. I don't know. That's what she was saying. Is yeah. like she like just she's said. just trying to build up the match and stuff. She's saying when I'm all good. healthy. I like all her segments so far. I love it. I love that she's bringing the drama to Yeah, the they got a good storyline going on now and everything. I love that. Dude, look, it's his physique is insane. Yeah. I feel like he's got the best physique out of everyone. Oh my God. You know why? Probably. Because I think he's like a trim kind of dude. Yeah. Like if he was like super jacked, he'd probably be skinny as hell. Mm. You know what I mean? So he's got like low body fat, so he looks yeah. ultra ripped all That's, the time. That's, yeah. See that for sure. Oh my gosh. I'm so really excited. She should, he should have came out to her song. Yeah, New York. and she should have came out. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been awesome. They switched outfits and everything. What? Hey. No, it's bullshit. Willow is down in the back of cameras. Baker tracks? I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. I don't think you're fine. Are you sure? Are you positive? Yeah, she's fine. Let her go. You're not, you're not Doc. Don't worry. Yeah, who's this fake doctor? Well, Doc Sampson's not licensed in licensed in England. Oh, okay. He can't get practice get medicine there. Our cameras is catching the down. aftermath of another apparent oh, attack. No. Let's go out once again. Please, they're gonna ruin the match. And I was looking to forward to this. Nightingale challenging Julia Hart for the TBS Championship this Sunday at Dynasty. Well, that that seems uh, that they got to think about that as well. Plus this match. I here oh, they go. Brody King from behind tagging Adam Copeland. Of course, it'll be House of Black versus Copeland, the Raider R superstar. Mark Briscoe and Eddie Kingston this Sunday in a trios match at Dynasty. Well, it, it, I don't know what to assume things here, but it looks like that uh, oh, Julia Hart's been taking some yeah, pretty good shots match. here, don't you think, Taz? Absolutely. Julia being smart right here, set up Cope, and uh, she's pretty oh apparent what the heck happened to Willow backstage and whose hands that was at. Yeah, right now, Big Brody, man, he's all Yeah, who did that? Copeland. If it he's wasn't them two, because they're out here. The so who whooped their ass? Will mm. Nightingale, you understand? Being Probably, what's your name? Sky Blue. But right now, this bell hasn't run, Tony. This match not officially underway. It's Copeland in, in the path of a I love ball. the way Brody wrestles. Yeah, he's awesome. Oh! <laughs> Did you hear that? Oh. That was Damn. Cool. Oh, my God. Oh! That's a lot of weight. That was nasty. Man. Just stay down. Just stay down. It's not even a match. Between. You don't have to fight back. That barricade... And an that incoming Brody look can take another look at this, Taz. Look oh. at that impact. The speed built up by such a massive human right there. God, Mr. King can haul ass and bring the wood. He did yeah. to Cope. Now bring Aubrey's got to even really consider <laughs> that uh, if Cope can continue here. Yeah, that's yeah. referee Aubrey This is a family show. Like, let, let me get this match underway. Did, did Julie do something different? Like her hair is longer or something, isn't it? Maybe she has yeah, extensions. He's sustained. Yeah. Cope uh, has sustained at the hands of Brody King. All the hair Julia Hart, color. the TBS champion, is Maybe that's on. what it is. Well, technically, I, I believe this is still a mixed tag team matchup here. I like that promo they did with Julia. Remember the video? Mm -hmm. That was pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, that was good. Taz, you know Copeland very well. She's Lydia. good at those. He's not yeah. Give up the speed the odds being yeah. Against yeah. No Wait, now. how are y'all going to do that? It's going to be two versus one. As tough as nails. Well, can Adam Copeland survive this onslaught? We will find out in picture in picture. Oh, come Don't on. go anywhere. <laughs> Why don't Chris Statlander come out? Yeah. Interesting. Maybe she's the one who attacked Willow. No way. Well, then why didn't she come out for the match? Take her place. She's too big. Well, she is concerned about her friend. Yeah, she wouldn't do that to her bestie. Yeah, I really like the way Brody wrestles. You want some of these? I'm okay. Oh, I, I thought these were okay. They're fruit. It's like juice. I know, but it's it's also mm. one of my. It's too tempting. Yeah. You sure? Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> oh man. Coke, you're looking a little, a little uh. Getting his ass whooped. You can't reinvent the wheel. Yeah, Brody looks like he's barely breaking a sweat. Yeah. To beat Brody, it's you have to be tricky. Have to least resist he's too big. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? You can't just go head on with that dude. And fast. Yeah. 
In 1953, they said our whiskey. Imagine trying to grapple with him. That's what I always think when I see a gigantic dude. Better. If y'all don't know, we do jujitsu and judo and stuff like that. We talk on the phone hands free. Yeah. Go hands We're really free good too, because she didn't know. We even drive hands free. Yeah, I'll imagine rolling with him and be like, damn, bro. No, no, no. A big boy. You slip in and they're on without touching your shoes. And he would be. Try sketch your slip ins. Yeah, going hard. <laughs> yeah. Electric <laughs> short trips. <laughs> Gas for he would have no, mm. like, no, paradox. like, it really is. He was, he, he's like that big the guy Lexus that Americans use immediately. Yeah, it just lays on you. Amount, you're cooked. We start, you're not getting out of that. No. Coverage good, get gentle. I mean, I wonder how much he weighs. I'm sure they said 300 pounds. Mm -hmm. Gotta be. Do you believe 280? Yeah, 280. 300 makes me think, like, oh, maybe you're a little. On the chunky side, but well, he, because he's muscular. Yeah, and he's big though. He's tall. He's yeah, big. you're right. Because Lance Archer's probably like 300 pounds. Yeah, something like. Well, he's like you six give seven. Chocolate. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Delicious little bars of smooth milk chocolate with a creamy, milky center. That kid, you Julie kids don't deserve no chocolate. Let that kid flag fly. Oh. What's Julia doing? Cheating? Julia was trying to choke him a little bit. See, I can't see that. You know, we say it all the time. We just need to get a gigantic TV. Let's get like a uh, 110-inch TV and put it right here. Yeah. yeah. Make this into a theater. Yes. And you belong on a corner. Okay, I do like that commercial. That's the only commercial I like. Fridays at 8? Because she called her, you know what? Brody right, King here we Jr., go. heart of the House of Black, attacking the neck of the rated R superstar, Adam Copeland, and his partner, not Will his neck. nowhere to be found. Right an attack in the back before the match, Tony. And let's not forget that uh, Dynasty and that six-man tag or that oh, trio match that you talked about coming no, up on uh, Sunday. Please. Let's see what's going to be left of Adam Copeland if he can fight out coming up on Who's Sunday. cheering him out? Yeah, I agree with you, Siobhan, but I think the last thing... Because he's finally getting some Cole offense. Cole oh. is that, obviously, right Ooh. now. He's trying to get out of this problem here with Brody King. <laughs> but as we're talking about... Hey. Picture, I hate when they bite each other. That pisses me off. Oh. He is fighting this match alone. Almost a two-on-one assault by it's Julia so Hart Brody King. To bite him? Yes. Up top here. Oh, he gets his footing up. Oh. The back comes off. Now go whoop Julia's ass. The flying clothesline. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Just flung his body for all he's worth. She would be running right like hell. Time. This yeah, would be she a would great definitely. She would be. Tag and Willow, she do her moonsault right off that yeah, ring onto the floor and take off. Then it would make Never Julia see her again. Legal being at its mixed tag team rules, but that's all for naught. And Julia Hart, remember, I do like Julia. You know, I always had a soft spot for Julia. She Dynasty was nice to me. With Mercedes Monet when she was a jabroni and no one knew who she was. Coming up this May. When she was a cheerleader? Yeah. And that one hated him. Heavy shots being exchanged. Except for me. What were they called? The varsity? Yeah, I don't my dog. Oh, dang. She's a heavy hitter, I promise. Ooh. She gave me a high five, too. Copeland went for that impaler. Brody King uh -oh. just too powerful. And Copeland. I would not want to try Brody to suplex Brody. Didn't take him off his feet. Or in Hell no. I wouldn't Break your back. That. That just speaks to how powerful Brody King is. Tony uh, Copeland hit him with a four, five, Pick six Julia. shots, and Brody still not going down. Yeah, he's still Copeland's slumped. too much of a nice right guy. Yeah, yeah he, he wouldn't do it. No. He's not going down. He's in, Who he's would an hit incredible Julia? athletic specimen. Willow. He really is. Willow would, yeah. Copeland again running in that high boot across the jaw. Catch Look Brody at that. King's That's such a good shot. shot. Copeland's doing the right thing. He keeps bringing They're big strikes job. to level a playing field here against Big Brody. And you know, I don't know if Copeland knows this or not, but Brody King. Oh, oh my God! Oh, oh, buddy. Copeland lands the that impaler. Kind of. He covers <laughs> the leg. <laughs> is stiff. Mm. King able to kick out. Super close right there. I was going to point out that, that a few years ago, I believe about five years ago, Brody King actually broke his jaw competing in a, in a pro wrestling match. Had to have his jaw wired shut. Whoa, like Kanye. Maybe that's why Copeland oh, is what? attacking the jaw, Brody King. He said that. Oh. Cope is a Brody student of the game. He follows oh, everything that's going with everybody for a lot of years. He knows that could you could be right about that for sure. Oh, any any potential advantage that you can if you're Adam Copeland. Especially with an opponent as dangerous as Copeland, that flipping neckbreaker. 
Yeah, Got to show up this beautiful shirt. Yeah, he's in the big fish. Here, but, Just well, like you, one of a kind. Not going to try to make a cover here, apparently. Oh, my gosh. Look at his eyes. You know, he's about to lose it. He's about to lose his mind. Come on, Cope. Girl, he beat Julio. Yeah. Oh, listen to the fans. Copeland feeding off the energy of this Normally, I would want Brody to win As because I like... Dude, he looks crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Size your butt down. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. oh wow. And Julia loves Normally, it. I would what want Brody to win because the House of Black. I love the House of Black. Yeah, they rule. But Julia because Hart, Willow is connected. Is delighted yeah, by that where is this Willow? You need to get your ass out here. Right here. I think Coco oh. got wrapped up with the audience here in Indianapolis. I mean, she didn't look that beat up. Nah. He's tough. He got, she should get out here. Caught by the big man there with that line. Yeah. Like Mark Brody said, it's what's in there. Oh, 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 Damn. But again, Copeland with nobody on his corner. It's a rough on your neck, buddy. Tag him in, Julia, Julia Hart okay. comes to check on her partner in this mixed tag match. And you know, yeah, listen, I think they do like a mixed Copeland match where like it's not going to be women versus men. A mixed tag team match. Uh, uh, like it's, it's like women versus women. Yes. Yeah. There we go. Look at Chris. She's the most supportive. Yeah, she's like, get out there. She's so supportive. She's like, stop being a bitch, Willow. <laughs> As well, up on the corner, Brody, you Bark see at him. I don't think uh, Copeland knows she's there. Hey, it's not considered a tag. Maybe he did yeah, know. sure enough. It's a tag. It's a tag and Will. Oh! oh. <laughs> and Julia Hart. Of course you're going to run. Technically legal. Technically legal. That's right. She's technically legal right now. But she backed off. As a <laughs> yeah, Julia went off running. Immediately. Brody King. Just got rocked. Yeah. No, no, Willow. We got double I love what she does that. She just Alistair stole this gimmick. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, oh, this is tremendous. And his cannonball. This is absolutely tremendous. Get out of there. No. What, what was that? Willow just got dropped. Uh, Julia Hart. I was like, it didn't even look like it landed. Willow right is out cold. And now, look at this. Copeland takes Brody Get out, out of the dude. Is what? Out. She's out. And that shoulder's trapped. That wow. shoulder was injured. The right wow. shoulder. Oh. That chain did the damage. You little piece of crap. That, uh, Willow didn't Get even let see it coming. Go. No. Chain She's just going to keep on choking her. Oh. Hold on. Hold on. CEO. Oh. CEO. Oh. CEO. Look at what she does. There she is, Mercedes. With the chair. Hey, let's go. Don't be She's going to hit Willow with it. Well, that was a good idea by Julia. Them being friends is crazy to me. Yeah, I don't know if they're friends, friends, but. Well, why is she coming out for her? Just because she hates Julia more? I guess. Well, because the members want to whip her ass, too. That's true. It's she true. thinks it was Julia. Yeah. I think it was. It was her MO. I the condition that Willow will be in this Sunday, but now there's a history with these two ladies that are in the ring right now, as we know. Oh, damn. Give her the mic. Mercedes with the chair. Adam Copeland. Oh, Mercedes drops the chair, but... <laughs> A very tense situation. Her. I mean, we're not sure if Mercedes came out here to save Willow or to get redemption on Everyone Julia. loves Adam. Yeah. It seems like on some level Mercedes still may play. Yeah, Something like that. Like that. An ankle injury, that career threatening ankle injury. Whether it was intentional or not, we will never that know. That was this awesome. This that was awesome. I think she dances good. Paper. Yeah. I don't know enough about dancing. She looks cool. Man, let's see how this Willow, this Willow versus Julia match goes. Yeah, Willow's gonna win. What do y'all think? Do you think Willow's gonna win? It's gonna be Julia Hart. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say no. Unfortunately, even though I want her to win, I just I don't see it. Mm, yeah. I, I think we are just oh. four days away from AEW Dynasty, a pay-per-view where our AEW World Championship will be on the line in a one-on-one -on -one matchup between Swerve Strickland taking on Samoa Joe. Joe, in this situation, taking on Swerve, just the two of you, one-on-one, -on -one, 
How do you view him as an opponent? How do I view him as an opponent? Well, at first I had viewed him as a worthy adversary, somebody who someday might make a great champion, but right now he's more of a nuisance. Let me explain nuisance. to you why. Swerve Strickland is not somebody who's got overwhelming speed and strength and power and is somebody that I look forward to. No, he's just somebody that keeps standing up after I knock him down. No matter how many times I put him in the dirt, he keeps standing up. Now that doesn't seem like a prerequisite to a champion for me. That seems like a prerequisite for a punching bag. And that's what I think about Swerve Strickland. <laughs> Well, I want to run you back to last week on Dynamite. I mean, we always see you calm, cool, collected in that driver's seat in pretty much every scenario. But last week, we see Swerve Strickland and Prince Nana holding on to this championship. And your reaction, walk me through what was happening then. Well, as you can expect, Renee, I was worried that my property was in the wrongful hands of somebody who will never possess it. I was worried that maybe this belt would need to be a... I don't know, disinfected before it would be TV yeah. ready for this week. <laughs> I mean, you, know, you don't know where Nana's been. Fair. Yeah, yeah. And as for Swerve Strickland, let's talk about him. Let's talk about his track record. Let's talk about what this man represents. You know, every championship Swerve Strickland has challenged for, it seems like he's come up short. Am I not correct? Mm. Yeah. Seems like he's a bit of a choke artist, right? I mean, every, ch every championship, every opportunity, every time he comes just so close, but then he chokes and swerves a little bit off target, doesn't he? Yeah, well, history will repeat itself once again at Dynasty. And once again at Dynasty, I will do what I have always done, and that is destroy my opposition, cement my legacy as the greatest AEW world champion of all time. And for Swerve Strickland, my friend, unfortunately, you are a choke artist. And come Dynasty, you don't have to worry about it. I'll be the one choking you out instead. I love him. <laughs>